when you do remote work, you are going to come across a situation that you want to go on vacation. And with remote work, that is completely achievable. Let me tell you something. Remote work and vacation can be something that's efficient, quick, easy, and completely enjoyable. I know that at times with remote work, it can be hard to find its own balance and levels of productivity, especially when you're on vacation and you want to go and have fun and you know do all these excursions and just truly relax. And oftentimes with remote work, it's hard to find that balance because you aren't working a nine to five job that it starts at one point and then ends at the other. But today, I am going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to be efficient with remote work on vacation. As someone who does remote work and was also just on vacation, I know the struggle. It can be quite difficult to balance and really truly get into that rhythm of setting aside some time to really truly get your work done without distractions. But of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep updated on all of our tips and tricks and of course, all of our upcoming marketing strategies. And of course, make sure to check out our website, our Instagram, our TikTok, and all of our other social media platforms. But of course, let's dive right on in into today's video. Remote work and vacation a true dream come true. So tip number one is getting an early start to the day. I know that getting an early start to the day seems kind of impossible on a relaxing beach vacation, but let me tell you something you wake up early before everyone else, you're able to have that quiet time alone and truly get started on all the work before the day has even really started for everyone else so that you know in your mind, well, check, all my work is done for the day and I don't have to worry about it later. Of course, this is gonna ease some stress and it's gonna make you truly enjoy your vacation so that you're not thinking about all that remote work that you have to do. When you truly already have it done, you can have a great day and set aside those goals, set aside those to-do lists so that you can enjoy that beach, you can enjoy that theme park, you can explore that island or even explore a new country. So the second tip, as I kind of dove into before, is creating a specific to-do list. At times with remote work, if you're not in your normal schedule, it can be completely thrown off when you're on vacation even more so. So making sure that you have a specific to-do list on what you want to accomplish for that day is truly crucial because it does give yourself some mini goals so that you know that, you know, I'm on vacation but I am getting stuff done and I am getting what I need for that day so that I can move on and do all the hobbies and fun things that I want to do, you know, with my family or my significant other. Or even if you're on a solo vacation, you have that opportunity to really just set aside time and do what you have to do. So making sure that to-do list is clear and specific and pretty efficient and organized will ensure that you are putting away that time so that you can have time to truly enjoy that vacation because at the end of the day, you are on vacation. So just making sure that you really truly are making do of a time and a schedule. Number three is so important calling before and making sure that there's good Wi-Fi. I know that this sounds really silly and simple, but making sure that the Wi-Fi is really, really good and making sure that it's easy available to you as a guest at a hotel or an Airbnb is really important because the last thing you wanna do is get there and there's no Wi-Fi and then you can't even do your remote work. Again, this can put aside so much stuff and so much time because then eventually you're going to have to go and, you know, find a, a public space that has Wi-Fi and sometimes public spaces can be a little bit noisy and then you can get distracted. So making sure that you do have that Wi-Fi to wherever you're staying is really important to make sure that not only do you have connection, but that you do ease some of that worry. 
so that you can just get your work done, do what you need to do, and have that time so that you can relax on vacation. So just making sure that you do give in that call before you even set foot on the resort, hotel, or Airbnb. Number four is super important and very crucial. And I wanna say it's even, maybe even one of the most important ones, but being open with the people that you are vacationing with about your schedule and about your work life. At the end of the day, you want to be very open and communicative with the people that you're traveling with that you're not always going to be, you know, readily accessible and always, you know, completely on, on their terms because you do have a schedule, you do have some work to be done. So making sure that you are acknowledging that with the people you're traveling with so that you do have an open and honest form of communication so that if there are, you know, certain excursions or certain events that are time sensitive on vacation, you can plan around it, you can plan, you know, with it or against it, just depending on what you have to do and making sure that to-do list is specific so that you can plan for the rest of the day or even making sure that those events are planned before you even get on the vacation so that you can plan accordingly with your schedule and the people you're vacationing with. The last thing you want to do is disappoint someone, especially if it's you know, a significant other, or if it's a birthday, or if it's an anniversary, or, or even a honeymoon. I mean, at the end of the day, you're gonna have to do some work, unfortunately, even if it's like a big and special day, and you want to just making sure that you're open and honest with the people that you're traveling with, just so they don't set some expectation and you know conflict arises. So again, communicate, communicate, communicate. And the last thing, as silly as this is gonna sound is be patient with yourself. At the end of the day, you are on vacation, and I'm not saying to completely ditch your work, but recognizing that vacation is this time that you've put your money into, you invested into, you possibly have been waiting the whole year for, you know, you're spending that quality time with your significant other, your family, that you normally get to not do on a day-to-day -day basis if they're at work and you're doing your remote job. And also truly just realizing that vacation is a time for you to relax and truly clear your mind. So having that, you know, in mind and in something that you are remembering can truly keep you on task because you're going to run into situations that, you know, your to-do list doesn't get completed within that day. And I don't want to discourage you. You know, I want to show you that it's going to be okay. You know, you're going to get to that task eventually. And if you don't get it done that day, make sure you get it done the next day, depending on the flexibility of the company or even if you're self-employed, anything like that. Just be patient with yourself. You're on vacation. You've set aside time from work to do this so make sure that you are enjoying it while making sure that you are still having fun and enjoying all that time and all those flights and all that travel that you've truly invested into this trip so at the end of the day i know that remote work on vacation can seem complicated and can seem stressful and intimidating but I really do hope that the tips that we talked about today can really put yourself at ease and can really draw yourself back to realize that I'm working and I'm on vacation and I can find a healthy balance that can work for me and the people that I'm traveling with. So making sure that you aren't letting yourself down and truly just showing yourself that you can have fun and you can still get work done with efficient time management, a to-do list, some great Wi-Fi, some good space, and also just making sure that your head is clear and that you're truly organized on what exactly the task is it that you do want to complete within those days. I mean, at the end of the day, you'll be able to find that happy medium that works for you and that works with your schedule and that works with your work life balance. But again, I really do hope that you truly, truly, truly take in all the tips and tricks that we did talk about today and that you're able to truly take that vacation and you know take those opportunities because you are remote and that is the upside about being remote is that your work can travel with you wherever you go so make sure to take advantage of this great opportunity that you have and set aside that time to vacation because with these tips and tricks you'll be able to do it efficiently so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, to check out all of our other social media channels and just to stay updated with all of our tips and tricks. But please let me know in the comments below how you use these tips on vacation and if they worked for you. 
Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.